friends welcome to another video of zeta axis and today we will discuss the effect of el nino and indian ocean dipole on indian monsoon now in our previous videos we have already discussed effect of el nino on indian monsoon as well as effect of indian ocean dipole on indian monsoon but today we will discuss the combined effect of both el nino and indian ocean dipole on our indian monsoon we will try to understand how both of these mechanisms work together to affect our indian monsoon in this chart we can see the percentage variation of rainfall in monsoon seasons in india right from 1991 to 2023 this white line indicates the average rainfall in monsoon season in india from 1991 to 2023 the yellow lines indicate the amount of rainfall in those particular years now if a line is above this white line it indicates that in that particular year there was more rainfall than the average rainfall similarly when the yellow line is below this white line it indicates that in that particular year the rainfall was less than the average rainfall so we can see that there is quite a lot of variability in the amount of rainfall in india and scientists were trying to find what are the factors affecting this one of the factors they found was the el nino we have already studied in detail what is el nino and how it affects our indian monsoon we know that in the el nino there is a reversal of winds in the south pacific region because of this reversal of wind we see that the rainfall which was occurring over australia it starts to occur over the south american region and australia faces a drought like condition this wind circulation is called walker circulation this whole phenomena is also called sudden oscillation or in short enso now this walker cell under normal circumstances looks like this it rises above australia and descends over south american region and this cell is also linked with similar other cells in different parts of the world and we can see that one of the branch which rises up and divides it goes towards the indian ocean and then it descends in the southern indian ocean region in the mascarenes region and that is why because of this descending air we see that there is a high pressure built over here and this is called mascarenes high now because there is a high pressure over here and during the summer season of northern hemisphere we have a low pressure region over the indian subcontinent therefore we see a large amount of air it moves towards equator then because of coriolis force it changes direction and then this winds they bring rainfall to our indian subcontinent this descending branch of this cell plays a very important role in increasing the amount of air which comes to our indian subcontinent it is because of this descending branch we get a high pressure over here and because of this there is increase in the air flow amount in this region and because of this increase in air flow this air then comes towards our indian subcontinent and during the el nino phase we see that there is a reversal of wind over the south pacific region we can see now that the wind is descending over australia and it is rising over south american region and because of this reversal of wind over the south pacific region we see that there is also change in wind flow in this region the branch which was descending over our south indian ocean region does not exist now because of that descending branch we had mascarenes high now without that branch the high pressure is not that high it is not that strong and the air flow also reduces so because of these two factors during the el nino we see that the amount of air flow which was reaching towards our indian subcontinent decreases and this plays a very important role in affecting our indian monsoon now to understand the effect of el nino scientists develop something called el nino index it was measured between tahiti which is somewhere over here and darwin which is near australia now the sea surface temperature was used to create this el nino index it was the sea surface temperature of tahiti minus sea surface temperature of darwin and based on this a plot was made we can see that when this index is higher in this direction that is it is positive we get el nino and if it is negative we get la nina now here we can see that we have plotted the el nino index in opposite direction in normal circumstances you would see that this el nino region is over here and the la nina region is shown in the lower part of the graph but because la nina positively impacts our indian monsoon and el nino negatively impacts our uh, monsoon therefore we have plotted it in this way therefore it is easier to understand 
Now, if we plot our Indian monsoon variation over this graph, we can see that now there is a lot of match. We can see that here there was strong El Nino. So we see that the percentage variation is negative. That is, there is very less rainfall in our Indian subcontinent. Similarly, if we see over here, we can see that there is the effect of El Nino to decrease the amount of rainfall. So we can see even over here that when there was a strong El Nino, the amount of rainfall decreased. So this helps scientists to understand and to predict what causes increase or decrease in the amount of monsoon in Indian subcontinent. Like you can see here there was a La Nina, so we can see the increase in rainfall. Similarly, here there was a La Nina season, so we see an increase in the rainfall. But even then, there were certain exceptions in this plot. We can see over here that in this duration, there was an El Nino. But still, the amount of rainfall in India was higher. And we can see such kind of variations all across this chart. We can see that there is El Nino, still the rainfall is higher. And this really confused the scientists that there must be another phenomena which must be working with El Nino to affect the Indian monsoon and thus causing these variations. And that phenomena was Indian Ocean Dipole. We have already seen in detail what is Indian di Ocean Dipole and what are its three phases. In the first neutral phase, we see that there is low pressure re region over here, there is high pressure region over here, but the difference is very small. Therefore, a very weak current flows over here. In the negative phase, we can see that this difference increases and therefore the strength of the wind also increases and we see that there is a large amount of rainfall in this region. While we can see the shift of thermocline and the water coming up over here and water descending over here. So we have discussed all these things in detail in our Indian Ocean Dipole video. Here we are just getting a brief overview to connect both of these topics. Similarly, in the positive phase, what happens that the air direction changes over our Indian Ocean. Now we see that there is a very strong low pressure over here and there is a very strong high pressure over here. And because of which a very strong wind flows in the reverse direction now. And we see that rainfall occurs over the East African region. Earlier rainfall was occurring over here, now the rainfall is occurring over here in the positive phase. And this positive phase positively impacts our Indian monsoon. Now just like we have an El Nino index for South Pacific Ocean where it was created by measuring the sea surface temperature of Tahiti and Darwin and we got this kind of plot. Similarly we have an index for Indian Ocean. We see that it is measured between the Western Indian Ocean and Eastern Indian Ocean sea surface. And the plot looks something like this, where we can see that this side is positive IOD and this side is negative IOD. That is when the sea surface is higher in this region, it is negative IOD. And when the sea surface is higher in this region, then it is positive IOD. Now when we plot all these three graphs together, that is the El Nino index, these bars indicating the IOD index and this yellow line indicating the Indian monsoon. Then we can see that in these years when there was El Nino and there was strong IOD, that is there was strong positive IOD, we see that the rainfall was higher in our India. Similarly, you can see over here that there is an El Nino. But because there was a very strong IOD in 2019, we see that the amount of rainfall in 2019 was much higher compared to our average. So this IOD explains all the missing gaps which we are having. Now let's try to understand what is the exact mechanism in which these both El Nino and Indian Ocean Dipole affect our Indian monsoon. Now to understand the process, first let's understand how monsoon comes to India. We see that the westerly, southwesterly winds, they bring monsoon to our Indian subcontinent and they bring it by two major branches. This branch which comes over Arabian Ocean, which is called Arabian Sea Branch and the other that is the Bay of Bengal branch, which comes from Bay of Bengal region. So basically these two branches brings rain to our Indian subcontinent. Now in normal conditions in El Nino, we have seen that these kind of circulations exist where the air is rising over the Australian region and there is a branch which is descending over the Indian Ocean and because of this descending branch we have a mascarenous high over here. Here we can clearly see that one branch is descending over the South Indian Ocean region and because of this there is a mascarenous high re region and this increases the amount of air which reaches our Indian subcontinent. We can see that air from the southern hemisphere it moves in the eastern direction 
then it crosses the equator the coriolis force changes and then it becomes westerly wind southwesterly winds and then they reach our indian subcontinent so this increase in pressure as well as increase in air flow from this branch plays a major role in bringing monsoon to our indian subcontinent now in the neutral phase when the iod is in neutral phase we see a very weak current flowing over here which does not affect these monsoon winds therefore we see a very normal rainfall in these kind of monsoons but when there is a negative iod we see that a very strong breeze flows over here the cell is very strong and it has impact on the monsoon which comes over here we can see that because of this iod negative phase we have a high pressure region over here and there is a low pressure region over here we know that air which was moving from here to this low pressure region has an intermediate high pressure region and because of this the amount of air flow decreases because there is a intermediate higher pressure region moreover this is cold region and therefore the evaporation is less over here and because of less evaporation we see that the amount of moisture carried by this air is also less therefore the rainfall decreases by this arabian sea branch now in negative phase there is also a low pressure region over here and because of this low pressure region some of the air currents which are moving towards indian subcontinent they are directed towards myanmar and thailand we can see a shift in the direction of wind because even here there is a low pressure region and because of this we see that overall there is a reduction in the amount of rainfall in our indian subcontinent due to both the arabian sea branch and bay of bengal branch in the positive phase of iod we see that there is a change in direction of wind flow over our indian oceans we see that a very strong current now moves from the indonesian region towards african region and because of this strong winds we see that now the warm water is collected over here and there's a low pressure region established near african coastal region and there's a high pressure region near indonesian coastal region because of this low pressure getting established here we see that more amount of air now comes from mascarene side towards the low pressure region and then it is deflected towards indian subcontinent and since there is a higher sea surface temperature we get more moisture because of more evaporation and thus the moisture content of this air also increases similarly here we see that there is a high pressure region and there is a low pressure region so pressure gradient exists in this direction so the wind currents which are flowing towards myanmar or the thailand region they are also deflected towards india and thus increasing the rainfall by the bay of bengal branch current moreover some air currents which were moving from this region towards this region they are also deflected towards indian subcontinent we can see that this is an air current it comes here and a part of it is again deflected towards indian subcontinent so we can see that because of all these regions the air flow coming towards the indian subcontinent increases in the positive phase of iod and therefore the amount of rainfall also increases but what happens when there is a positive phase of el nino when the el nino is strong now here we have seen this was the normal situation we have wind currents like this the air was rising over australia it was descending over south american region and there existed a branch which was descending over indian ocean but when we come to the el nino conditions we see that the things have changed now this air is moving in the reverse direction air rises over indonesia it gives rainfall over here and it descends over australia creating a drought like situation in australia while earlier it was raining over here now during the el nino phase we see that there is no descending air current over here and because of which the high pressure established over mascarene sea is not that strong and similarly the air flow is also reduced because the air which was descending was increasing the air flow from here but now there is no descending current so the air flow is also reduced so the amount of air which is approaching over indian subcontinent gets greatly reduced now we have already seen that neutral phase there is a weak current which does not affect the amount of monsoon over here in the negative phase as we have discussed earlier we will see that high pressure region is over here and low pressure region is over here and because of this we could see that the amount of rainfall which was coming to india reduces now let's try to understand what happens in the positive phase of iod when there is an el nino phase going on now even though the el nino is trying to reduce the amount of rainfall in the indian subcontinent we see that because of positive phase of iod there is low pressure over here 
so it is trying to pull more air from this region and there is a very high sea surface temperature so the moisture content again increases now during the positive phase of iod we have low pressure over here and high pressure over here and therefore some of the air is trying to move from this region towards this region but when they reach over here because of coriolis force again they are again turned towards indian subcontinent we can see this airflow which is coming towards india from here so here we can see that when the iod is in positive phase it will increase the amount of airflow towards indian subcontinent even though the el nino is going on so el nino is trying to reduce the amount of rainfall in our indian subcontinent so here we can see that the indian ocean dipole in its positive phase tries to increase the amount of airflow over indian subcontinent even though there is an el nino going on so the el nino tries to reduce the airflow over indian subcontinent during the monsoon season but if the iod is in a very strong positive phase it will increase the airflow nullifying the effect of el nino and causing more rainfall in the indian subcontinent and therefore in the years where we see that there is a very positive iod phase even though there is an el nino phase we see that the monsoon is higher than the average value similar situation also occurred in 2019 where we saw that there was an el nino going on but because of a very strong iod we saw that the amount of rainfall in india was much higher than the average value so you can see that how iod in positive phase nullifies the effect of el nino and causes more rainfall in our indian subcontinent i hope you understood how both this el nino and indian ocean dipole work together to influence the amount of rainfall in our indian subcontinent if you have liked this video then please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of our future videos please follow us on our social media handles and thank you for watching the video